So this is the 7 Artisan 60mm f2.8 macro. And so, like the title states, this is a macro lens. Which means this is going to be specifically geared towards macro shooting. However, you can take non-macro photos and videos with it as well. That is an APS-C only lens, which means you won't be able to use this very well on full frame RF mount cameras. And so it's a 60 millimeter focal length, which means on these crop sensor cameras, it's actually equivalent to about 100 millimeters. So this is gonna give you a nice zoomed in focal length, which for macros is kind of what you want for the most part anyways. And this lens has a minimum focus distance of 6.9 inches, which is actually a one-to-one -one macro, which is a very good close-up macro distance. Now this lens has a fully metal construction there is not a single piece of plastic on this entire lens it has some more weight and heft to it it weighs 12 ounces so i wouldn't even call it a heavy lens by any means but the construction really does feel great in the hands and then for price this lens comes in at 180 bucks so actually the same price as the canon 50 millimeter f1.8 just a very different use case. So this 7 Artisan 60mm lens is very, very sharp when you're taking up close macro photos. I was honestly astonished by the price to performance ratio with this lens. Like it is very, very sharp, even wide open at f2.8 when you're really up close getting those macro shots. Now the build quality and macro performance are really the two biggest strengths of this lens. It's fully metal construction, the focus and aperture rings are very well dampened when focusing and changing your aperture. But that does lead me into some of the cons of this lens, which first of all is that this is a fully manual lens, which means there's no autofocus, there's no electronic aperture, there's no you know, distortion corrections and stuff built into the lens. This is a 100% manual lens, which for a lot of people isn't a big issue and some people prefer this, but for some people this is a huge deal breaker. So I'm gonna let you create your own conclusion based on that. But there's no electronics in this lens, it is fully manual. Now this lens also isn't weather sealed in any way, which for a macro lens could, you know, affect some people, you know, depending on what type of macro shooting you plan on using it for. It does go all the way to infinity focus. However, the performance when not shooting macro photos or you know any sort of somewhat close up photos just didn't seem very good to me. It wasn't quite as sharp. There was more chromatic aberrations, a ton of ghosting and flaring. And I would honestly recommend only purchasing this lens as a specific dedicated macro lens to your kit, which I would highly recommend because I've been getting so much use out of this for really close up B-roll and you know for macro photos and just messing around with it is so much fun. And if you don't have a macro lens, I would highly recommend looking into one.